Hello everyone, it is me, Joanna, again, and to this time around, I would like to tell you all about some new shanty stamping nail art plates that I received. I ordered these off of Amazon. They were $15, I think, and 98 cents, and it was $5 and 48 cents for them to ship them to me. Um, so I want to show you what they are. This is the shanty 2013 set. And I liked a few of the plates in here, but I'm going to start off with the three that I am sending to my daughter. The reason why I am sending these to her is there are a few things on here that I don't like. Um, and it's minor, it's just me. I have left this blue paper on here for her to take off when she gets these, but I have started the peel so that she can just peel it off. So they're not damaged or anything, but that's what the blue is. I just have not taken the plastic all the way off. Now, these are not in any order, but there are 25 plates, um, and they start with 201, I believe, SH201, but these are not in any order. And if you can see this plate here in particular, these two images right here just unnerve me, this one and this one. These are snakes. I do not like snakes so much so that I don't even want a nail plate with them on there. But her and my little boy, now even though he's a boy, not that, you know, these are just strictly nail plates. I could take an image like this with the black nail polish and put it like on his hand or on his cheek, wherever he would like it, say for Halloween or as a little semi-tattoo type thing. So these plates are good for that. These plates, um, as well as the Conat plates, have been said and they show where you can stamp your phone and that type of thing. I just don't want to do that. But I do not like these images in particular. So I figure my daughter might like that. Um, and this plate, nothing scary here. It's just different lips and things. She likes those kinds of plates. And I have enough, being that I have a couple in the sets that I already have. And then this next plate has a skull and crossbones in the middle of it. I'm not interested in that either. I don't know if you can see that. But I also think she liked that tic-tac-toe. So, these are the plates that I am going to send to her. But I do like this box. She doesn't know that's coming. Now I will show you the rest of the plates, which I have removed the backing from. And as I said, I won't call out the numbers, but I will try to hold it so that you can see the numbers. But I just thought, these plates are pretty cute. I have not used any of them yet, but I am curious because I've seen a So Guess What 11 video where she used this image here. And then in another tutorial, she used this image here. But I do like these plates, and I've got some ideas for them. There is another one. And the only reason I don't really show some of these is, as you can see, I don't really have, like, a proper setup. So I really hope that you guys can see some of these images. So I think Shani Cosmetics, I got these from Amazon, but a lot of these plates I will go on to their website and look them up. Now I am interested in the Cheeky Summer Set as well as, I think, the regular Cheeky set. I believe there are 21 or 25 plates in each of those collections. And the Cheeky 2013 comes in a box like these, but I think they are said to be bigger than these. And these particular plates right here are about the same size as my Conad plates. Yes. They are the exact same size as one of my Conad plates. There's another one. And a lot of these sets all contain a leopard or zebra type print, so I do like that this is different than my other ones. I have maybe four different ones now, so they're not all the same. I can put that so you guys can see. I don't know if you can or not. This plate, I like the sun, or I'm sorry, the moon and the stars in the middle. But this image right here, there is an image like this on a Conat plate, but it's a little bigger. Some of these are small and some of them are bigger. 
like this one to me right here is smaller than say this one right there. Um, there's another one. And as you noticed, when I was at work this weekend, I had a bit of, um, I'd say a stress spell. And I started picking with my nails, the peeling on the tips of them. Um, the nail strengtheners that I have been using has made that a little bit more difficult because there were some areas on my thumb that I couldn't budge even though I tried to pull up on them. But I did do enough damage to the tips of my nails that I had to file them completely off. And there is still some damage at the tip, so I've got on this dark color of nail polish to sort of camouflage that. So I won't be doing any nail art for the next few days. But that usually takes about 10 days to grow out, so I have enough time to get me a little edge before Christmas so that I can make my hands look decent. But I have actually been doing really good about not peeling my nails and... I failed. I don't know what it was. The entire time I was doing it, I knew I was going to be sorry. And here's another zebra type print. So, I've been filing them down and using my nail strengtheners, but along the very edge, I'd say I have most of that filed off a month from now. So, we're going to see how that does and if I can leave it alone. But it was odd how when I bent that down, you know, it was a lot tougher to do that peeling. This one, I think, is really, really cute. It's got a little koala bear on it. You can see that? And since I don't know what order I'm pulling these off in, this butterfly is similar to the conad butterfly, but the conad butterfly has a lot more detailing. The Conad plates, I think, being that they were the first ones out, they do have really fine detailing. These have some nice detailing, too, but the Conad plates are kind of known for their intricate detailing. Let's see. Oh, you can see that. I don't exactly know how to hold this, but I want to try to block out some of that glare. I think this is the one that I want to try to use first because it's got the snowflakes and um, so guess what 11 did one in blue with this snowflake and I think the Christmas tree or the snowman. She did something with the snowman from the um, other bundle monster set. But I really like this. It's got the little gift and the little snowman and a little penguin which I think is really, really cute. The um, little penguin is here, and the little snowman. I do like these, but it was the Hello Kitty plates that made me get this set. Now, I know that Hello Kitty, I think, was originally supposed to be for little girls, but they have a lot of makeup and a lot of adult things in Hello Kitty, and I just think it's so cute, and I couldn't pass this up. Because at one point I wanted to order a separate Hello Kitty plate. And I'm glad that I never did. So on this one you get the Hello Kitty. You get the face. You get the polka dots there. And then this one is really cute. You got the little purse. You got more little Hello Kitties. You have a um, full bodied Hello Kitty here. And here. And then one, I can't tell if she's sitting on a box or what, but I just thought this was awfully cute, too. Even as just an accent nail in the summer, so I thought these plates were very cute, and I just wanted to share them with you guys. I know I really don't show them, and you can see why, because my little setup is just not cut out for that. But I am looking forward to all of your videos. And until the next time, I want everyone to have a great day. And I tried this on. It has kind of like a fruity, orangey smell. No taste. But I think I'm going to like this. It had just that hint of shimmery glitter, but not too much. So I'm going to try this with a lip liner or two. And come back and let you guys know how I really like it. But I love the casing, so I was sold. But I'm definitely going to go back and try one of their lipsticks. Just one. So have a great night. Good night.